Sim Update 4 Beta has just released, and it's going to bring in lots of fixes, bug fixes, performance fixes, VR fixes, airport fixes, avionic fixes, 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 and more fixes. If you want to get into it right away before the full release down the road, who knows when that's going to be, but uh, you can do so. I'm going to show you how to do that. You might want to back up your files before doing this. We're going to look at the Microsoft Store first. Then we'll look at the Steam version. So if you're on Xbox or PC via the uh, Microsoft Store, this is how you do it. You're going to go to flightsimulator.com slash insider dash registration. And I'll put the link in the uh, pinned comment below. Then you're going to complete this uh, sign-up survey. If you've already completed a survey, a lot of that information is just going to be right there. You just got to click to, to save and continue. Once the survey is completed, open the Xbox Insider Hub on your PC or Xbox. And if you don't have it already, you can install it via the Microsoft Store. On the left-hand side, you're going to choose Previews. You're going to scroll down. You're going to go down to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Then you're going to click Join. Then it's going to take a little bit of time. And after a couple of minutes, you'll then uh, be brought into the Microsoft Store. So you can then start up Microsoft Flight Simulator. And on the first startup, you'll be able to download the 9 gigabytes uh, beta. And once you want to exit the beta, all you have to do is come back to this, to the Xbox Insider Hub, click on Manage, and then Remove. That's it. It's very easy. And then your settings will then go back to what you had. Uh, but like I said, you might want to uh, you, you you might want to back those up. Now on to the Steam version. Steam version, because I don't have the Steam version, I'll just give you the instructions here. But you're going to open up your Steam library. You're going to right-click on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Click on Properties, Betas, and then select Flight Sim Beta Sim Update 4. That's it. And then next time you start up the Sim, you'll get the download and the uh, you'll be in the beta at that point. Now, if you want to exit the pre-release test before it ends, all you got to do is go back into your Steam library, right-click on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, click on Properties, click Betas, and then select None. And that's it. You're in the beta. I'm not sure when the Sim Update 4 release will happen, but most likely end of October but it could be just in time for the one-year anniversary of MSFS 2024. If you enjoyed this video, you'll want to take a look at this video, which is an overview of all the changes within Sim Update 4 Beta. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in this next video.